Hey there, it's Tom the English Picker here. Um, this is part two of my crazy week of buying stuff slash turning into full-time hoarder um, being found dead in a pile of my own computer games and stuff like that in a couple of years time. So uh, on to the stuff that I got from... Um, uh, sorry about that. Um, got from a large antiques fair. Some really bizarre stuff, um, and then part three will be the coins and other bits like that. Um, so, what did I get? What did I get? What did I get? Okay, uh, picked up some stuff which I would have never have thought in a million years I would have got uh, from an antiques fair. Really bizarre stuff. So, first thing I'll show you is a uh, PC game, of all things. I paid £3 for this. It's Star Trek The Next Generation Interactive Technical Manual. Big box version. Um, these, I did look it up, but I think it was about 10 quid they go for. 10 to 12 quid, something like that. So for £3, that was cool. But the main thing, the most crazy thing that I got, which I couldn't believe, was this. This, <laughs> I couldn't believe it. I saw it, well actually, when I first walked up to the store, I saw this, which is um, Super Mario Land on the Game Boy. I said, oh, how much is this? She went, oh, it's two pounds. And I was like, mm. And then, like, right in front of me, I don't know how I didn't notice, was this, sat there. And I goes, oh, how much is this? And she went, £30. I was like, ooh. And she, they would not budge on the price. Well, I said, would you do £30 with this and this? Because I've sold this before for like five, six quid, I'm pretty sure I've sold that for. Um, so I thought, meh. But, uh, so I paid £30 for it. And I'm going to keep it myself, I think, because it is cool. But I'll just give you a quick peek inside. It is lovely condition. Really, really nice condition. It's got Sonic there, two controllers, all the cables and everything. It's missing the. Uh, uh, is it missing something? Is it missing the three-in-one game pack with uh, Golden Axe, uh, Revenge of Shinobi, and Streets of Rage? But that's not a problem. So uh, Mega Drive Two. Uh, I've already got a Mega Drive, but it's the first one. So. Uh, yeah, I'll put that in my own collection. £30. Strangely enough, on eBay, I was really surprised they don't actually go for much. They only go for about the £30 to £40 mark anyway. And I really would have thought box like this in a nice condition, they would go for more. But they uh, apparently don't. So uh, that was cool. Uh, that was a nice little find. And then, as I said, I got the Game Boy game there. Uh, from a person who's got all sorts of bric-a-brac and other random stuff. I picked up this, it's a shelf bracket, uh, I don't know what it says on it, but just really bizarre, uh, antiques booth fodder, someone will snap that up for five, six pounds, only paid a pound for it, small profit margin, but stuff like that sells quick and easy. That's there. Then uh, I picked up some uh, Super, Master, uh, Super Mastermind game the other day, and uh, from the same person I got those from, for uh, these slimmer ones with a pound each and this other one was one pound fifty. We've got Mastermind there and then we've got Word Mastermind and then lastly the box is over there because all the bits fell out is one I've never heard of called Space Lines right out of the sort of late 70s early 80s I don't think it's dated but actually it's from the makers of Mastermind so there you go so for four pounds I hadn't even looked them up, but they, I, if all else fails, I know that I'll be able to sell them for at least a fiver each on my antiques booth. Small profit margin, but things like that just go so quickly, which is great. Uh, picked up some more pen knives. Picked up a the guy hadn't got many left to be honest. He'd sold most of them, but I picked up a fairly nice Swiss Army pen knife, sort of a small size. I'll probably keep these for myself. And then I picked up another yellow one, a bit more scuffed up. I gave the other yellow one to Nick, so. Uh, I, uh, I'll probably keep one for myself and put it in my car or something. Uh, that was £5 for the two, which is a good price for Swiss Army pen knives. Then I picked up some glass. I picked up this nice um, Max Johansson Crystal Otter. You can see it there. 
Um, I would have thought they would have gone for more, but the ones that go for more are the bigger pieces that are sort of this size. Um, these only go for about six to eight pounds, so I'm going to price it at twelve pounds in my antiques booth, and uh, that should go away. That's there, and then I picked up for a fiver. I picked up a piece of Murano glass. You can see there, made in Italy, Murano glass, and this is called Millie Fury. Um, and I've sold these before for anywhere between ten and twenty pounds. So. I'll have to look up that because I've not seen one like that before. It's quite unusual that the whole thing being blue and having bits in it. And then I picked up this for 50p. I thought it would have been, it looks much older than it is. And apparently they still make it. Well, some loads of people got it on eBay and it was only fetching like a pound to two pounds. Because it looks really old, but I paid 50p for it. And I'm going to ask a fiver for it in, um, in my antiques booth. It's got a nice look to it anyway, so uh, hopefully that will sell. And put that there, running out of space. And then, oh, some other random stuff. Where's that over there? Um, I picked up a, a load of, I saw these, and I started thumbing through them, and the, the postcards and photos. And I actually like the basket, the trug that it's in. And I said, oh, how much are these? And he goes, oh, it's 20 quid for the basket, mate. I said, oh, would you take 15? And he, he said, yes. So uh, 15 quid, I mean, there's lo loads and loads and loads and loads and loads of old photographs in here. And postcards and just different people and cool ones on the beach, stuff like that. So I've got to go through it all. The, the actual basket it's in is probably worth about six to eight pounds anyway. Nice little basket in my antiques booth. So half of my money's back there. And uh, I'll go through the photos, pick some of them out, the best ones, and I'll put the rest as a job lot on eBay. But they seem all mismatched, so I don't feel bad. There's all different people in them, so they're just, you know, it, I don't feel guilty about splitting them up. Um, and then I picked up this lot for £25, I splashed out. Um, there's this which is a uh, bell time watch and you can see it's had the battery changed at some point because you can see scuffs on the back but it is in lovely condition LCD watch there so I paid the equivalent of a fiver for that and I picked up this, this St Justine not a huge amount of age to it St Justine and it's a uh, really nice Hip flask, beautiful condition, brand new, uh, with a, like a Celtic design on it, and it came with a little funnel, and also a uh, stopper which has got a golfer on top. Perfect again for the booth, or but I might put it on eBay as a lovely little gift item with Father's Day coming up and all that. Um, it's good to have that. Uh, then I, the last thing I picked up was this. Now it's got a bit of damage on it, just there but that meant I got it a bit cheap because he did want £20 on its own for it and I looked up this I could be wrong but this apparently was Latin and it's to do with uh, Masonic lodges and apparently this will be the lodge number and it was like a collection tin so the top comes off and obviously the money goes in there nice dovetailed um, in mahogany it's got the flat screws that dates it to sort of pre-1940 um, really so nice, good quality piece. I'd probably say sort of turn of the century, something like that. And uh, I don't know. I really have no idea on the price. Uh, but I'm going to guess about 20 to 30. So uh, with the damage and everything. Um, so yeah, pretty cool. Uh, and then lastly, I picked up a load of cameras. The guy had got absolutely loads and loads of cameras. And I picked up a load of Polaroid cameras. So got the case and then got them in there. I had no idea if they work. I paid uh, I paid £25 for this lot. And then you've got another one there, another 1,001 of the early ones. And then got one of the more modern ones. There. Uh, I've sold these before for about 10 quid each. And then we've got one here, a close-up it's called. And then we've got two of these 
cool ones in cases. One's leather, one's canvas, and they pop out like that. So pretty cool. Um, my sister's into um, vintage cameras, so I'll show those to her and see what she thinks. And the other reason why I got it was because this. I don't think it's got a huge amount of age, but it is just very cool. Sort of classic Arsino ships, and it's marked Stanley London, but it's very novishly done. So I don't know the other side, it's got an S. Uh, the leather work seems decent as well, so 25 quid, I thought that was pretty good. So that's it for now. Uh, I think, yep, yeah, that's everything. So thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And um, the next video will be coins and some other bits and jewelry. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.